is up, everyone? I am going to be talking about the newest mummy that was supposed to upstart a whole lot of original Universal Monsters. It was going to be a big throwback, but an updated universe. Kind of like how Hammer was the British version of the Universal Monsters, but there was like more like it was sexier and bloodier. Well, this wasn't going to be like that. This was going to be just like it was in the black and white days, but they were going to, you know, it, they were going to be faster with action and they were going to be CGI to the max. So let's start with the mummy. Now, when I first heard that Tom Cruise was going to be the main guy behind the mummy, you know, you, you, can't deny that I was a little skeptical in a horror movie. Now, I don't think he's ever done a horror movie, per se. So, when the movie starts, it right away it feels like I'm playing like Call of Duty, you know, like Indiana Jones on crack. You know, like he's an archaeologist and he's like running around with James Bond. And I'm like, where is the horror going to happen? But when the horror does kick in, it all... Inevitably feels very much like the Brendan Fraser ones just swapped out with Tom Cruise. I've been mean, hearing a lot of critics say that. They're not wrong. But Tom Cruise does have his own kind of niche humor. And that's another thing. Like, there is those moments where he's being attacked by mummies and he, he's making, like, jokes. Okay. Like, when you're making jokes and you're about to be teared up by mummies, I, I, you're, it, it would look stupid for the main character to be like, woo, and then, like, actually die. The scene where the mummy chick is holding a knife over him, and he's making these goofy looks, and I, you just don't buy it for one second that he's actually going to get stabbed or anything like that. There's a lot of those moments in this movie, but I will, like... Tom Cruise aside, he's Brendan, He's basically the Brendan Fraser. They do make this... There is a darker feel to these movies. They do look darker. They're not as... There was very, like, amusement park ride feel to the Brendan Fraser ones. But, alright, let's get some good stuff. There is good stuff in this movie. It has potential. I, I do like the Attic Abacus stuff. I do like how Russell Crowe is like, I'm going to create an army of monsters and, and, and I'm going to lead them on Dr. Jekyll. And, you know, and just like, yeah, I want to like, I want this place to fill up with monsters. You know, I want to see more. They're like, uh, they're like the, the League of Monsters. And that brings me to another comparison there was a movie with Dr. Jekyll, and it was called League of Extraordinary Gentlemen with uh, Sean Connery, and it had Jekyll, and it had uh, a bunch of, like, um, it had Dorian Gray, it had whatever. It was just, like, sort of like this, very similar to what was going on here. It was a bunch of literary characters turned into superheroes. Uh, you know, movies like this, if they don't do great, they have to, like, it, they can't be, like, a couple people looking out saying, well, I, I have fun. They're, I don't think they're going to invest money in that. It's got to be a home run. Like, Van Helsing with Hugh Jackman, that was supposed to be a home run. That was supposed to sell toys. That was supposed to be a new upstart for the Universal. Uh, but I, they, they keep striking out. They just keep striking out. But um, I think the best way to, to look at these movies is instead of saying they need to be connected directly, they need to be sneaky. They need to be like, yeah, 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 well, the Wolfman was kind of connected you know, Dracula on Tote was kind of connected. The, the mummy was kind of connected. So instead of, like, you know, maybe just kick down the Dark Universe logo 
and still kind of like sneakily make this Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein, just make them, just don't be like doing it the Marvel way. And I think the people were annoyed that they were going to do it the Marvel way. And uh, DC, oh, they're just doing it like Marvel. Oh, Universal, they're going to make, it's going to be the monster movies, just the Marvel way. And while I think they had like a big board meeting and they were showing clips of Johnny Depp and all the people that were going to be in these movies. And I'm like, yeah, this is going to be freaking bang busters, man. This is going to be cash flow positive. Uh, no, it just didn't turn out that way, which really stinks. Another thing I want to talk about is Sophia Bute Boot Butella. You know, I always want to call her Sophia Nutella. Because <laughs> I just want to rub Nutella all over her. And... Yeah, Alright, moving on. Um, yeah, the guy, um, she was great. I really like her composure as this, like, evil Cleopatra type of evil Cleopatra mummy, like, evil bitch, which type of... She's got the inscriptions all over her. Her facial, like, like the way she looks, she doesn't really have any lines. Like, she says a few things, but just her body composure, you know, like, she's she's a stunt woman, too. Like, in uh, uh, Kingsman, like, just her movements. I, 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 made, I entertained the idea of her being Red Sonia because she could kick ass, you know. But she doesn't have the red hair. But she was perfect for this mummy chick. And it's just too bad that we're not going to get, like, her cameo in, in the other mummy movies. And, you know, I just think it's a bummer that the whole thing kind of went to, to past. And they're not going to do this these movies. Like I said, it does feel too much like an action movie. It does feel... Like it borrows from the Marvel way. But there was something to be had with the whole Advocates thing. And just how they they could have... Even though Tom Cruise is kind of like a big egotistical um, smarmy dude. Who's only like 5'7". And he thinks he's, he could beat up The Rock. Just put that away. I think his cockiness kind of... Also, I do like the chick with the blonde hair from Annabelle. Her name's Annabelle. Um, I forgot her last name, but she's super hot. I really liked her. They could have had her in the movies. I, it looked like, you know, a lot of people say Russell Crowe didn't look like he was into it. He was into it. Like, I know when Russell Crowe was into it. Watch Master Master and Commander and watch this. Like, he's, he's, he's doing his best. So... The fact that people think, you know, people were just kind of like, I, I liked it. I liked it. I think there should be more. I really want to see another Dracula. They were going to make a hunchback of Notre Dame, Notre, Notre Dame, a Phantom of the Opera, um, Frankenstein and a Bride, Invisible Man with Johnny Depp, and, um, and you know, maybe a Gill Man. Like, I want a Gill Man movie. I mean, I, I'm going to go see The Shape of Water to get my Gill Man fix. Because, uh, uh, even though they say it was like Abe Sapien from Hellboy. You know, n and, 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 and it's the same dude who directed Hellboy. Mind no mind to that. And that's it for my mind. If I had to rate it, it would be like... A B-. minus. That's like the best, that's that's me being a bit of a, a universal mark and being realistic. It was a fun movie that I, I think was faulty and kind of tread too much water of areas of the jokey and the action where it should have been balls to the wall, Egyptian horror, which it wasn't. So, let me know what you thought of Mommy. Let me know which... If they did make these Dark Universal movies, what, which one would you want to see the most? I actually want to see, I actually want to see how the Phantom looks. And I actually need to watch the original Phantom 
and I actually need to watch the original. Um, I mean, these are classics. I mean, we should we should all see them. But maybe I review the Phantom, and maybe I review the Hunchback. I mean, these are these are classics. So that's it for now. I did like the Mummy. Let me know what you thought of it. Take care.